Okay, so in this example, we're going to identify degree, leading term, and leading coefficient. And there's three functions, right? Okay, but they didn't give it to us necessarily in the right order, so we're going to have to switch them around. So f of x, looking at that one, it looks like it should go negative 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3. So you're putting those exponents in order from largest to smallest. So the degree is 3. The leading term is negative 4x cubed. And the leading coefficient I'll abbreviate coefficient, is negative 4. Now, you might say, well, okay, this is easy or whatever, but we're going to use those terms, leading term, leading coefficient. We're going to use those phrases, and so you want to be familiar with what we're talking about. Okay, now let's look at g of t. So is g of t in the right order? No. <laughs> it's got, it should be the negative 2t cubed first plus 5t squared plus 7t. So now my exponents are going in order from largest to smallest. My degree is 3. My leading term it out, is negative 2t cubed. And my leading coefficient is negative 2. Okay, don't box around that. And box around that. Okay, so now the last one, h of p. We might have to go down here. h of p, is that one in the right order? No. Negative p cubed plus 6p minus 2. Notice we're always putting the constant at the end, if there is one. Now on g of t, there wasn't a constant, but that's okay. We don't have to have a constant. The important thing is that we get the highest exponent first. Okay, so the degree is 3. The leading term is negative p cubed. And then the leading, co leading coefficient is negative 1 on that. That's the leading coefficient, okay? All right, so hopefully that was fun.